Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and here we are in this beautiful Factorian early morning. And we're in the modules area where we want to build this module thingy majingy and add it to our collective. Yes, um, I'm really excited about this because this we really need. Uh, we have 787 production productivity modules wanted and 274 speed modules. We need a ton of these things. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to build stuff and the things right now. And we're going to be respective of these cliffs and kind of start right in the middle here. So the first thing I want to do is go into our uh railroad thingy thingy get out your building train and place this i have actually recently um redone this thing just uh seconds before well not redone the whole thing but i've added a few things i've added a radar i've also added this thing i've changed the defaults to just uh, cliff explosives and landfill but then i have two other presets that you can just copy over if you need this is the refinery one and this is the nuclear one so uh so i don't have to set those every time you could have a separate building station also in your blueprints whatever you feel like so anyway we do need this uh, as our first train of the day and let's see i want to add some let's see get some uh railroad tracks placed here and this is going to be our train that is furthest to the right i believe or should we should we move it a tiny bit maybe there is better i don't know we want to have room for our production over here i kind of find it interesting to nestle this between these cliffs and i hope i think we'll have enough room anyway uh let's go ahead and place the outgoing thingy thingy here and because we know where this ends, we can also have a, let's just do a safe kind of beginning thingy thingy right there. And then that will allow us to just connect this up to the, the railroad, uh, the regular tracks, our main line out here. And you'll see what we're doing in a second. Okay, let's see. That is the end of my stuffs. So there we go. Let's take this there and then we can have this one. Maybe move this power pole out of the way, I think. And that one can go up here. Oh, that's nice. That looks cool. Okay, and then add power poles. Hooray! Let's go ahead and signal this properly. Want to have always before the cross, you want your chain signal. There we go. And then after the cross you would like the other signal to be there and here we just want to have another one uh, finishing that block and one over there as well okay so let's go ahead and get some more of this good good all right and then we'll get our just a few blocking signals here shorten these blocks a tiny bit and this is going to be our entrance for the train. Now, this particular area is only ever going to have one train for each of the materials. So I am not going to build a parking lot. It's just not needed. Um, and I think, you know, you'll see why I think in, the, in a second we'll have, you know, it's, it's going to be a good high throughput place to build stuff. But after that, we don't really need much here. So let's take this downward there we go get power to our new station oh 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 hold on hold on there we go nice spider a little bit wobbly on its legs there and we're gonna call this new building train station something good let's see um we're gonna call this modules building hooray okay and that's good uh, i do want to look at these different thingies and see what we don't need we don't need belts of any kind so i'm gonna just gonna take those off completely we are gonna need these guys fast inserters and the stack filter inserters and let's see everything else we don't need long-handed i don't think 
And we certainly don't, well, we need modules to start off with, I think. Well, actually, we don't really need them. Yeah, let's take those off as well. Definitely don't need them. Here, we're not going to need any active providers, but we will need passive and requester chests. Filter inserters, I don't think so. No, beacons, yes. Okay, good, good. Next section. Uh, yeah, we'll keep both of those. Landfill and cliff explosives, and we're done. Good, good. Okay, so let's make sure that we have the train station wide enough for what we want to do. And let's see... I kind of am thinking we can start the building train coming by here. Yeah, let's go and do that at another station. Space, building train, no modules, building train. Okay, and five seconds in activity, of course. I always forget that one, but it is kind of important. Just a tiny bit of importance there. Okay, and so the train should come to us. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is kind of look at other stations and... Oh, well, the first thing we're going to do is uh, connect this with the outside world because that's kind of important. Just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to shift click this here. All right, very good. And see if we can get our rails out. Yes, there it is. Nice. All right. And then we'll just add signals here and there. There we go. And these sections, we'll signal this in a second because we want to add the other train stations first. Now, we do have a, um, a little bit of a template, which is in the dark at the moment. <laughs> but uh, this train station with the steel, or uh, iron, I should say, right here is probably what we want to uh, have going on here. So let me, let's see, control copy and just want to get this kind of precisely here. Get that there. Okay, how does that look? It looks quite nice, actually. I think that's exactly what we want. Okay, so one thing I want to do, I'm going to put it here for now. No, 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 over here. Over here, that's better. And I do want to get rid of the extra train stop there. I want to get rid of the curve up here. And we're going to have another space there. So I want to put a signal up here. Oh, it is already there. Nice. Um, and then one... I don't think we're going to have a fueling train here. Uh, though I guess we could, technically. Um... Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should have a fueling train coming through here. And we'll just have the fuel brought out. And this could be a centralized place for getting fuel. One thing that I am a bit um, dismayed about is it looks like each of these has manually set filters. Which is not ideal in the least. So I want to connect these all together. And then uh, copy this. And place there. Yep, they're good, good, good. And then we do want to connect these two together, sure. So that we have a continuity line. So I'm going to copy this like this. Shift click it so we get rid of the tracks because those are always going to interfere quite nicely. Uh, oh, I didn't copy enough, alas. You want to copy at least to the next section over so you have that uh, circuit connection right there. Okay, so right click this, right click your power poles, create blueprints, and go. Okay, and that's going to connect them. Connect, connect. Good, good, good. Perfect. All right, nice. Get that one out of there. And get this out of there. And what I want to do with this is connect it to um, a combinator. Yes. Right here. Sure. And that will allow us to set the filters on. All oh, I should have set the filters first. No. Set filters. All right. That's fine. We'll fix it. Okay. And then 
This one is going to be whatever we want it to be. I'm going to leave it blank for now and then just copy this thing and then paste the filter selection thingy thingy. Let's just do this. It's faster. Re oh, 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 we're getting too many now. Too many. Oh, no. And it's very okay that this only has power poles on one side. That's just fine. That is not an issue at all. Come on. There we go. Okay. Good, good. Not sure where I got that extra one. This bobbing is a bit annoying, I have to say. It's not good for precision movement. You would think that the thing wouldn't need to bob so much. Uh, but you never can tell. So we're not going to be able to tell with this. But we may have to also move this thing downward slightly because I see I have misjudged the distance. So let's copy this. And I do want to put it in my blueprint library here as a, oh, yep, yeah, that was from the previous version of this episode. <laughs> Whoops. And we'll just call it chest unloading. All right, save blueprint. There we go. And there we go. Control V. And we will put down multiple of these, however many we need. Now notice that these things slot right into where those power poles are. That's very, very handy. So there we have one. And then we have two. We need three different items. We need green circuits, red circuits, and blue circuits. And the blue circuits, we probably don't need that many chests, but it's okay. We don't care that much. So let's see. Control. I think we're done with this. So I just want to grab. Uh, well, we'll just do it from scratch. It's okay. Let's just deconstruct all of this. And then let's copy this section here and add another section here. That's going to be the right distance, I believe. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this, this just needs to be moved down a tiny, tiny smidge. So let's just take this and move it like that. Uh, right right where that power pole is oh no so right there and then we can copy this corner and just add it to each of our stations there and delete this bit down here there we go Okay, there we go. Spider-Tron, Happy-Tron. Now, how do I want to get the fuel in here? I'm thinking, I guess I could make another rail line. What the heck? It doesn't really matter that much if we do or not. Um, however, we can save some space on this because this is going to be our module pickup. So we'll just do modules, module pickup. Okay, good. Sure, white is fine. And these guys are going to request solid fuel. That's also fine. So the requests here are going to be for the various modules. We might do three of each, but at the moment, I'm not going to set them because if we request a bunch of modules and it gets sitting in a train, then none of the modules are going to go into the actual factories. However, we can set up some of them because um, modules are considered an end product. They're not a component of anything else. So they can, they can be, uh, requested here, uh, because we can't use them at all. So let's see, one, two, three. So three there, and then those are going to be put into this train. And then we'll put these guys here as well. Oh, building train is here. Hello. Hello, building train. I'm going to put you in manual mode. Oh, hold on. Did you move? Did the building train move? I think it did. All right, I'm going to walk back or take it back and then put it on go to modules. Stop manual. Okay, so on manual mode, it will continually unload stuff, which is great. 
Now then, I want to get another station made. And that one is going to be the four, the, um, the fueling train. So let's go ahead and set that, send this fueling train here. Ah, uh, this is what we want, copy. And this, sure. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, excellent. So that's what we want. Okay, fueling train dumps fuel into a box. This is gonna be a passive provider instead of a, no, 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 oh, turn off, turn off. Right, fine. You want to do it that way? We can do it that way. It's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> it's like, I'm telling you robots right now. I got plans. So, okay. So there we go. And I think we can also feed the train here as well. Why not? So this is, this is nice. We can, we can do all the things and all this stuff. And there we go. All right. Actually, we could move this. Nah, it's not worth, it's not worth two tiles. I'm not going to move it over further than that. It's fine. Um, all right. Spider-Tron, come on over. Actually, we don't need Spider-Tron to come over. It's fine. We can just build this as we like. But now comes the time for actually building stuff and things. Just the fun bit. Okay. Let's get this. Add it there. Right. And we'll add these guys to... Oh no. It's fine. It. I think it still goes there. There we go. Okay, so this thing has um, already has our RoboPort there. Let me move the Spider-Tron, by the way. And we want to kind of go with this kind of layout-ish. So I'm going to copy the uh these guys for now i think i only want one string of robo ports here and we'll align them with that one that we have so let's go ahead and that's working maybe maybe oh there they go there they go that was a bit interesting and do I have any modules on me or did the train bring any? I don't see that any have been put in. So I'm going to send this train off to the base and then I want it to wait here. So we'll do empty cargo and empty cargo and hopefully it'll bring us some stuff. Now I do think, ah uh, yes, we forgot to reconnect where we had disconnected this line before. Um, I'm not even sure how those ro robots worked. Oh, probably from the energy stored. Oh dear, that's interesting. Um, what I think I want to do though is remove... No, I think it'll be fine. We'll just I'll just take them off right now. And because uh, I want to collect the modules from the train. Uh, let's do a test section. That's what we'll do. We'll do a test section and put in our our assemblers because so we're going to do this a tiny bit at a time so let's see we need to do this kind of thing and we'll have this there and these uh uh beacons hit both of them so that's great um all right and so what we need is probably i don't think we can actually do this i think we need to go and get the um we need the speed modules first because we can't actually put productivity in here. I don't think we have anything with speed modules anywhere, do we? I don't think so. All right. Well, we'll just wait for the train to come back then. But before that, we can set up the production for these things. So because there is no such thing as productivity, it's quite easy to calculate the ratios. So for two of these guys, there's a perfect ratio of five machines making these, the level twos, and then 10 machines making the level uh, ones. But I think we're going to do something a little bit more simplified, which would be to have the just six of them because I don't want, I don't feel like changing this stuff over. 
All right, so we have a requester chest for each of the things in the stuffs. Let's see, do we have modules? Hello? Can I have? Can I has? Hello? Did we get any? Did I request any? Hello? Do I have modules somewhere? I don't see any. Maybe? No? Didn't get any modules? What? Hello? Are we requesting? We should be. Oh no, we didn't. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. I thought they would come on the train and sure enough, they did. All right. Um, we're going to be able to put these modules in. Uh, in all the things that we need, actually. At least for the making of the blueprint. And that's the important part. So we're going to put some here and here. And then in this one, this one, this one, that one, and this one. And then I'm going to copy this section over here. So that we have um, these things here. Let's turn on our personal bots for this. No. Bad. Oh, bad. Naughty. No. Okay, well, we had enough. All right, let's <laughs> turn them off again. Uh, okay, so this is this is going to give us the speed that we need for this. And I want to put a power pole in between these things like this. And then this one is going to be on this side like that. And we'll just put a couple here just to give them electricity. And the important part of that is, is the game needs to see what the crafting speed here is in order for us to have requests in the chest. So we're going to copy by shift right clicking copy and then paste into the requester chest and we see this is the amount that it wants for 30 seconds of crafting so i think i'm going to double those numbers up so 42 oh that's not quite 42 just a tiny bit more than 42 and then again 42 yay and 42 because we have two machines feeding off of this one thing um, so let's go ahead and add a uh, stack inserter to make sure that we, I don't think we'll actually need that much to warrant a stack inserter, but I don't really care. It's fine. Here though, the output, we're definitely going to have, uh, let's say one of these guys. Now I kind of, I kind of, kind of really want more chests. So let's send the train back home and get more red chests because I think we should limit this chest quite a bit. I wonder if I can put down one of these and then limit this and then copy paste. Does that work? I don't know. I don't know, but we need we need a red chest. Let's see. If I pick one up here, actually this is the better solution, I believe. Oh uh, no, excuse me. <laughs> no. Uh let's see. Copy ghost paste ghost. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if it did anything there. No, it did not copy anything. So I think what we want to do here is maybe have like um, three stacks of modules or something. Um, yeah, because we are going to be loading a train. We don't need a high stack size in here. This is just going to be for new stuff. So I think maybe even just two stacks. I think that's enough. I think two stacks is definitely enough. And then we have stuff there. So perfect. This is actually perfect. So we're going to copy this section and put this at the top of our structure here. And then we're going to change this up and get the level twos instead. Okay. Copy, paste, copy, paste, adjust requests. So 86. This double clicking thing is so unnecessary. 70, uh, double click again. All right, so this, we need six of these all together. So, well, we need five, but yeah. I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm going to change this to two or to the level one and then we'll fix things later. So this is level one. Uh, all right. Copy, paste, and copy, paste. All right, 87 is 100 and... 
174. Yeah, 174. Yay. Okay, very good. All right, so that's our level one module. So I'm going to uh, control X this and put this further down for now. And we're going to copy this. We need five of these. So I, I don't feel like chopping one off. Um, though I guess I could. Why not? So here's this one. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's take this one off. And we will just control X this here. Rotate. Yeah, there we go. And we'll probably do the halvesies on this. We'll just go ahead and take this and paste it there. Yeah. Okay, good. Now then, uh, we do have a tiny issue with the next section. So this power pole is in the way. That is not ideal. So I guess we can put it here. No. Um, this is very confusing. Okay, let's uh, control X this. Rotate this around because the power poles have to be on the left side or else it's not going to do very much or do very well. So let's add that one there. That's perfect. And then we can have uninterrupted stuff in. So... This one, we need 10 of these modules. So that's two, four, six, eight, and 10. Okay, very nice, very nice. And that's it. That's all we got. Perfect. And so then now we can just add these uh, beacons where they make sense. Let's see, is that one touching? Yes, okay, so we know how long to make this. Very, very nice. And one more, I think, right? Yes. Okay, good. So it's kind of not centered on this thing. I It doesn't really matter, um, but I think I'm going to center it anyway. So let's control X this and then move it slightly. Uh, so it's kind of centered on the train stations. And then we'll move the roboports accordingly as well. Okay, good. We'll add one and two there. Okay, this one needs a power pole. So I'm going to add one here and there. All right, very good. And I think it's okay up here. But I do want to add one up here because this power pole isn't going to be there on the other sides. So just add one like this. All right. And now, now comes the let's make quantities of this stuff. <laughs> That's the next thing we do. Um, so let's just control X this and control copy this. There we go. And then I think, I don't know how many I want of these. Let's see, probably three, three columns or so. Uh, or two, yeah, three, three should be fine. And then we'll copy this section here. Now we're gonna leave one space for power poles there. As you see, we do need them. There we go. Adding that, taking out radar. We definitely don't need a radar there. Oops, there's some stuff on the ground. Some rocks that those naughty biters have been playing with. And now we're just going to copy the line of power poles. So we're going to shift copy this and get rid of everything but the power poles. Oh, okay, there we go. We're going to align those kind of with the others so that they sort of make sense. Okay, very, very good. Ah, oh, this is nice. Okay, and then we need... Let's just take this one. I guess we can add, just add another power pole on the end here. This is great. This is really great. So the next thing we want to do is copy one of these columns 
well, actually, we can copy the whole lot. Um, do we need anything here? This is the power supplying over here, so that's just fine. We're going to copy this line. We'll have to fix the end, but that should be okay. I think I'll send the building train back again. Yeah, this should be fine right there. Dead gray trunk is in the way. All right, building train, go to home. Bring us more stuff, please. Now, the critical thing here is going to be that we need to change the recipes on all these things. So what I'm going to do is we're going to whitelist these assemblers and remove them for, from these two columns completely. And hopefully that's enough that we'll be able to place them in these columns. So the first two uh, are, again, speed modules. So copy, copy, paste. Second set are going to be level twos, four and five. Hooray. And then these guys are going to be level ones. So we'll just copy paste them all here. Oh, that's nice. And then we will copy the whole lineup and then just paste over here. Oh, okay. Hello. There we go. Nice. And then again over there we go. We'll fix a couple of errors in the RoboPort thingy thingy. So there we go. And we're kind of almost good. It's like, hello. Life is happening really well for us right now. Um, I want to copy this section and add it to all of our train tracks. And then we will add the signals, the out signals there to go uh, for our trains to wait and that's fine let's just go ahead and add another one there okay so spidertron have you got plenty of rails i think so okay so building train can come out or not building train but the fueling train can come out here let's go ahead and name our stops because we definitely need to do that uh so this is going to be modules fueling Okay, um, a couple of people have mentioned that, well, you know, you could add um, the fuel to the building train or you could add the fuel to, um, well, there's not room in the building train for one thing. So I, I'm, I don't want to do it that way. You could possibly do it, but my building train goes to so many places already. I don't want it to go to more. So that's kind of... Um, What's, oh, that's the building train. Uh, so it's not really ideal to have it going to even more places. So yeah. All right. Um, let's see. We need to add, let's add our new building train station. I need to turn off this uranium station uh, because I do not want that there. Okay. So here, I think, can we shift click this? No, I don't think so. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Modules fueling. Is that no that's module pickup why oh why you not work this is connected yes yeah okay let's go back this is yeah modules fueling all right let's see try to get this going again easier to go through the menu that's what it's for in general but, okay, five seconds of inactivity. So go ahead and go out there, please. So that one is incoming. Now, these guys, what I think we need to do is change them because we might, if we change the names here right now, uh, we could have some issues. So I'm going to delete them all uh, and then add them again because it might change the other... The, the other train to come here instead and that's not what we want so I'm going to go ahead and just name them here because there's nobody that has these names yet so this is GC drop off okay this is going to be green and I'm just going to copy paste these over here and also 
uh, set the combinators. So this one is going to be green circuits. Sure. This one can be red circuits. Sure. This one can be blue circuits. Yeah. So this one we want to be blue. Call it BC. Yeah, sure. BC drop off. There we go. And this is going to be RC drop off. Okay, and all of these now have fuel. This is fantastic. I think I'll also add fuel here to the building train. Uh, and I think we're kind of ready to go. Uh, let's see. We want to make this one red instead. So I believe that we have a blue train that is waiting for us over here. Yeah, there we go. Blue circuits. Does it have... Oh, we need to probably try out that new mod, which would be kind of cool. Uh, all right, so we do need to have our red circuity thing. Copy paste the color and let's get our rail car thingy out and just add different cars. And I'm very glad that the, the train is here. Come on. There we go. Takes a bit of practice. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Darn it. I think uh, at the back of my memory, I think there's somebody said there was a way to bring up the last blueprint, but I can't remember it for the life of me. Okay, we're going to add station modules, red circuit drop off. That's our first thing and empty cargo and add station red circuits, red pickup. All right, full. Go on your merry way, my friend. Oh, that was scary. I was like, oh, no, why did it stop? Um, but we need, uh, let's see, we need to get some more cars here. And maybe a couple of locomotives. So green circuits is going to be interesting because, yeah. Because green circuits are already backed up like crazy. Okay, full cargo. And then add modules, green circuit drop off. That's going to go on top and empty cargo and go. Okay, good. Done. Uh, blue circuits we need to fix, though. We need to get our blue circuits going on. Now, this is going to be exciting once we get this go. Oh, that doesn't work very well, does it? No. No. Oh, no. Go here, please. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Add weight condition. Uh, passenger present. And there we go. Oh, no. It's okay. It's going to go all the way around. That's fun. This is a fun thing. It's fun. It's fine. It's great. We'll just leave it to its thing. We can fix this um, now. Actually, what we could do. Where is this train? Is it coming back? There it is. It's zipping all around. Oh no. Ah, <sighs> oh dear. Wonder, can we just get it to stop here? Probably if I can catch it. You know what? I'm going to let it stop. I'm going to let it stop, do its thing. And then I'm going to add cars to it from the other thingy thingy. So there we go. Green circuits car should stop here. Yes. Good, good. Okay, excellent. And also, we should let the building train go because it doesn't need to be here right now. Okay, there we go. Good, good. So I think what we need to do is take off this weight condition and then we can set it at the end. Well, actually, we'll set it at the beginning. I don't think it should need much. I'm not really sure what it's needing, to be perfectly honest. Maybe some more inserters or something. But it should turn this station off relatively quickly. Okay, this is ready to go. We'll turn off this. And then we'll go to Green Circuit Pickup. All right, so that should be fine. Now, let's see. I want to go all the way up there. So we'll go this way, I think. This should be faster. See if our Spider-Tron can navigate there fairly well. 
people who I'm curious to see how much radar coverage we have. No, maybe we have decent radar coverage. I don't know. I um, One of the things that I added onto the uh, building station, building train station, is a radar. And I think that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to add because I always forget that. And it's nice to just have it in the blueprint because you're always going to need one anyway unless the station is really, really, really close to the tracks. So, yeah. Okay, so let's take this over to our blue station. And we can also check out that new mod. Okay, so here's our blue circuit station. We might actually want to add some train tracks here instead. We do have plenty of them, that's nice. But let's look at this. We never turn off our exoskeleton, so I think... Oh, yeah, I already turned that off. And we have toggle x-ray vision, which is kind of cool. It's very cool. So what we can do is turn this on, and it makes the trees disappear. It's fantastic. Thank you so very much for making that mod. I really, really love it already, and I haven't even used it that much. It's, it's pretty darn cool. It just makes the trees go a little bit um, shorter. Tiny bit shorter. Okay, let's take this thing off. Get rid of this and probably that. Rails in. There we go. Okay, and power poles again. And of course, radar again. Good. And then on the side, we can add some incidental uh, little signals. Now here's where we really need this thing. I want to see where we're going to go with this. Oh my gosh, we don't even have this going. Okay, let's let this train load. Let's see. Blue car. Blues, blues, blues. Where are you? Hello? No. Okay, they're in alphabetical order. Oh my god. Organization is good. Uh, oh, 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 come on. There we go. In any case, we have many, many, many of these things. So what I want to do is I want to copy this section and just add a fueling train out here. Though actually, we don't really need one, do we? Since we added fueling over there. Okay, never mind. We'll just skip this. But I'm glad we got here for the train anyway, because we do have some fuel on us. And I'll just add that in here. Just add a half a stack, and that should be enough. Let's add a station here. I'll just delete this bit. This was the previous idea that I had. Blues pick up uh, full cargo, and then add a station modules. Blue circuit drop off. So, uh, and empty cargo. And then we'll add this to the top. All right. And I think we'll go. We shall go there. Wait. Hey, hold on. I don't know if the. Anyway, this is so helpful. This thing is really cool. I'm not sure if we have our green circuits yet, but we can look. Oh, look at this. It's taking this route. Nice, nice, nice. I think it's faster for us to go above this way, but I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. Also, I should check the green circuit thingy thingy. Oh, 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 having issues, having issues. Sorry, Spidertron. I know you're terrified of water. We, we won't make you do too much water. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay, little Spidertron. Go this way and there. And how are we doing at green circuits? I really want this thing to start up. Who are you? Oh, you're at blue circuits. No, go to there right now, please. No, ah, no, it won't go. Who are you? You're next. Modules. Okay, good, good. So we need this one to go, but it won't go until this is filled up because this, uh, both of these are red. So we can't tell it to skip through, unfortunately. So we may have to wait until the next episode to see this come into fruition. But we are seeing some things distributed. This is kind of great. And it's really exciting. So anyway, I think we'll stop there because it's going to take a while for that green circuit stuff to, 
to go forward, but we will check this out in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.